Okay, thank you guys so much for taking the time to listen to the, the music there. Um, if you're interested, I'm gonna take a minute now and I'm gonna break down, talk a little bit about the synths and what I did to patch them together to get the sounds. So let's jump into it. Okay, here we are. So uh, this patch started out with uh, this noise that I had coming from the, uh, from the Telharmonic. Um, let's bring that in there. And I had this going through the QPass filter. And I actually had this, the frequency was, um, was kind of modulated by the uh, pressure points along with the <clears throat> other parameters that are happening in the telharmonic. So if you bring the Q up on this, you can hear that this really has quite a bit of tonality to it, especially if I bring the reverb up. This has quite a bit of tonality to it. So I was able to kind of match this pitch to what was coming out of the other outputs of the telharmonic. So let's bring those other ones in. You can hear them coming in. So you can hear these. So you can hear the noise is actually mm, part of the, uh, the chord. That's how I got that. I actually just went through each of the uh, each of the the notes or the chords and just set the uh, parameters so that the the tone actually happened. And you can lower the voice or lower the noise with the uh, with this level input here. Uh, the rest is just coming from the uh, the phase and the harmonic outs. And I think I had it around that central around that area it kind of just gives it this nice full pad envelope coming from the mass again and that just cycled through and the other thing i had happening on the uh the make noise was the the quick uh arpeggiated pattern which i had coming through here you can hear that coming in. And this is coming from the from the Rene, and it's uh, the envelope is coming from the mass. And it's actually you just here the the pulse is just like this. And then I had the herb giving it this uh, 16th note pulse. As you pull up the mod to mix, it gives you a, a nice modulated envelope on this amp. And you can change the length of the envelope. And I really wanted to have another filter for this, which would, would have been really cool, but uh, I was already using the QPOS with the, uh, with the pad and the filters on the on the Moog were both taken up as well, so I kind of had to use the Wave Shaper a bit like a filter. You can kind of use the fold to... It works a little bit like a filter. And as you bring this down, it really becomes like quite a percussive 16th note piece, element. Now let's talk about the, uh, the Moog. Okay, so I had most of the percussion coming from the, uh, from the DFAM and I had it, I kind of just messed around with this uh, interesting sequencer until I got a part that was kind of a low kick type part with like some shadow like hi-hats type sound and then I had like kind of one of the, of the, uh, the pulses as kind of a, it sounded a little bit like a snare. So let's bring this in. Turn on the turn on the first bit a little bit. 
So yeah, you can hear something is loaded up. Yeah. It's kind of had a four on the floor, like kind of kick with like some extra hi-hats. And then this one, which was kind of the, uh, a little bit of like a, a hit, uh, a snare hit. Yeah, and as you change the decay and the different cutoff parameters, you really get a lot of different sounds coming from the... It's a very, very versatile synth here. And so yeah, it gets a little bit crazy as you bring the, the VCA decay up. If you really want it to just kind of be a nice percussive little thing. And the bass was a, a sequenced bass from the Mother 32. So again, I had the, the DFAM going into the, uh, the external audio. So when I move this over, it starts to bring in the bass. And I started out with just kind of this uh, pulsating bass. And I did a 32 step sequence here where I did um, 10, I did 10, 10, 10 for the first three notes and then two going back. So it's kind of a weird sequence that's going off from like, a, it's syncopated from like what else is going on there. So it's always like kind of uh, alternating with, with what's happening in, in the other sequencer. Going back in. You can really experiment with the attack and the decay to give it different sounds. Envelope on this actually affects what's happening on the DFAM too. So when I cut this down, you only get the this really uh, kind of uh, push in it, and then you open it up more, you get more of the 16th note feel. Mm -hmm. That's pretty that much the high point of that. And at one point, I think I brought out the other the two. Oh, I didn't do it like that. So I could actually just bring down this. And you, and you got a much more... Much more kind of open sound. Change all these parameters around. We just bring them all back in together. Um, could have just used one more filter for the <laughs> for the sixteenth notes, but and that's something I could have done in the track that I didn't actually do. That would have been cool. <laughs> I'm actually kind of annoyed that I didn't do that in the track. this out and then faded other things out and end up with just a nice pad and that's pretty much it
All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around, checking out the video. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more synth videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.